How many times has this happened to you? You're out riding your bike when you come to a red light. You stop and wait patiently for the light to change. And wait. And wait. And wait some more. In most cases, you can avoid this situation by knowing one simple trick. Hi, I'm Chester Knapp with the city's Our Trip program. Our Trip is the Redmond Trip Resource and Incentive Program. In this clip, we're going to show you how a bicyclist can trigger a green light at a traffic signal. Many people don't know that most stoplights and traffic signals are triggered by a sensing device located in the road, known in the business as an inductive loop detector. You can see many of the loop detectors in Redmond because they are cut and laid into the pavement and then covered with tar. The loop detector senses metallic objects, like a car, and tells the traffic light there's a car waiting, and eventually you get a green light. Since bicycles contain much less metal, they need to be lined precisely with the inductive loop detectors in order to be recognized by the traffic light. The best place is on the right-hand edge, so that your bike is aligned with a large portion of the loop detector. And it can even help to align your front wheel with the loop. If you move off of the loop detector, the traffic signal may think you have moved on and are no longer in the intersection. So it is important to stay still. Many cities in the Puget Sound region have painted an X or a T showing you where to put your wheel. Soon, Redmond will have bicycle symbols to show you where to go. Sometimes, inductive loop detectors are installed before paving and don't have the helpful X or T painted. You can usually guess that the best spot is a few feet from the curb and a couple feet back from the white stop line. Of course, another option is to hit the crosswalk button. So, the next time you find yourself coming to an intersection, you have the power to get green.